Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Brett, and uh, I'm going to do a quick talk here about a project that was inspired by the fall, uh, sorry, the, um, uh, the Small File Media Festival. And um, just a little bit about me. Um, I'm a ham. Recently got my, um, my call letters. You did too, right? Yeah. Uh, that was a fun experience. Um, but I'm an artist. Uh, I kind of work with the electromagnetic spectrum, a lot of radio and sound kind of stuff. Um, I teach at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago uh, in the Art and Technology Studies program. And uh, something that's probably most related to what we're doing here is a class um, that I teach, Tactical Media. Um, and I've been doing that for, I don't know, 17 years or so. Um, and so uh, I have an interest in kind of the creative use of technology, mostly, um, you know, sort of communications technologies. And uh, so apart from my teaching, um, I also do lots of workshops and, you know, stuff in the community to kind of get people involved with making their own, um, making their own media, right? So kind of trying to flip that script between, you know, sort of producer and consumer, right? Um, so like, you know, how to build an FM transmitter or something like that. Okay, I was um, here at um, our networks in uh, 2019 in person. That was, well, not here, but in Toronto. And um, I did a project called uh, Protest Bar, which, um, you know, I gave us a, um, a workshop uh, where we built these things, which, um, you know, I have my thing from 2019 here. Uh, but it is essentially a, a battery-powered um, wireless access point and web server. Um, and so this thing was kind of meant to um, kind of play around with wireless infrastructure space um, where, you know, if you were looking at your, uh, you know, networks, that this thing could basically spoof uh, SSIDs that could be part of a message that you could read in your list of, um, of networks, okay? Uh, so, uh, so right now this thing, if you're, I'll leave this on, but if you look at your SSIDs, uh, you might start seeing strange words popping up in there. Um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, something that I had done uh, kind of uh, before that was a project called uh, Wilderness Wireless, which appeared at uh, radical network conferences, uh, and those were being held in New York and Berlin, sort of, you know, 2016 until 2019 or so. And um, using basically the same technology, but I can explain to you in a second, but, uh, you know, had a device that we constructed, um, solar-powered, um, again, wireless, um, you know, web server kind of thing. And kind of the activities around building this thing, you know, we did a lot of discussions about like, well, you know, sustainability and, you know, small file sizes and, um, you know, kind of the materials and energy and everything that goes into, right, creating a network, right? So it's like, um, you know, materials, energy, communications kind of stuff, right? And so, um, yeah, the thing that I kind of wanted to show today was, um, well, when I was looking at the, uh, you know, the website for, um, you know, the, the day today, like I said, I was inspired by the, the fi uh, small file media um, program. And um, I was like, what can I do? What, how can I use the technology that I've been playing around with to just do something to show you folks today? And um, so the technology that I've been kind of using mostly is our IoT technologies, um, you know, so you might have some kind of like uh, wireless sensor node somewhere that needs to be, you know, powered by, um, I don't know, you know, uh, energy harvesting or something like that. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff that I've been doing here is based around uh, the Espressif uh, ESP32. Um, this one, this particular one that I have here has a nice little screen on it. so. Uh, I use this in my classes. My students can uh, basically, um, you know, I had a student that made a really nice little webzine, 
you know, that would actually display the images on, you know, the screen. You know, that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, that's kind of the technology that I'm working with here. But, uh, yeah, this captive cinema thing was kind of fun because I was like, okay, how can I get a movie? How can I serve a movie from my ESP, right? And so I kind of set apart doing that. Uh, the ESP is, you know, uh, Arduino compatible, right? Uh, to this, you know, the point where, uh, you know, you can open up the Arduino IDE and program your ESP in that environment. You don't have to use their toolkit, basically. Uh, so there's a number of examples that you have, um, you know, in Arduino that are like web servers, um, DNS servers, uh, and that kind of stuff. So I kind of took those things and kind of mashed them around and, um, you know, made a little movie player. Okay, so the idea was to take La Jete, which I think was an example on the website. Um, you know, I found a bunch of stills from the movie. Um, I coded a little, um, you know, web page that uses JavaScript to basically load images off, um, you know, over the network and display them, you know, one after another kind of thing, right? So let's see if I can get this uh, going here. And I'm going to share my... Uh, Screen here with okay. So let's see here. Okay, <laughs> so um, oh, that's not showing. Okay, let's try that again. Oops. Okay. Let's see if I can do this here. Okay. So yeah, you can see this um, uh, Jenny Holzer um, sort of piece showing up here. That's from this thing. But uh, where is my captive cinema? So this is running in a um, captive portal page, right? So you don't have to really, um, you know, do anything other than connect to the, the uh, wireless network. All right, let's see if this actually works. There we go. Et voila. <laughs> Yeah, so pretty much everything is just coming from this little device, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. How do we get our own? Well, somebody give me an opportunity to do a um, a workshop, and I'd be happy to. Uh... Okay, let's get some space. Yeah? And there's yeah. a hardware on conference in Vancouver at the end of late September. Okay, yeah, let's uh, we'll trade, trade deets, okay? Thank you. All right, everybody.